Hello, this is Max Williams with Robinson and Harris Real Estate, and today I'm in beautiful Midlothian, Virginia. We're going to take a look at a five bedroom, two and a half bath home that's just under 3,000 square feet. This home was built in 1990, and we've got an absolutely stunning neighborhood here. As you can see, there's great pride of ownership here. Uh, there is a neighborhood association, and as a result, uh, they seem like they uh, definitely care about their neighborhood. You're not going to find four or five Trans Ams uh, on blocks in the backyard like you do in some subdivisions and uh, that definitely protects property value. This home simply needs, uh, from my assessment, just some cosmetic touches to really make it shine. Uh, the last customers I had in this price range saved about $60,000 off of the asking price. I'm not promising I can do the same thing for you on this home, but there is the potential to save a considerable amount of money on this one. As we come in here to the left, we've got a nice big formal living room. Straight back, we have passage into the kitchen and a coat closet right here convenient to the front door. Please note we've got the chair rail and please disregard the wallpaper. You of course can change and put in any wallpaper you desire or paint for a little bit more of a neutral look. This is a more informal space. We've got beautiful wood floors, one of two wood burning fireplaces in this home and some nice built-ins as well. As we transition here into the eating kitchen, we've got a nice bar there with wine storage, chair rail, plenty of space for your dinette. Here in the kitchen, we have high definition laminate countertops. Uh, the government puts a dehumidifier in to keep the home nice and fresh while they're waiting on you to close. You would need to bring in your own dishwasher, electric range, and microwave in addition to a refrigerator. A little space there for Junior to do his calculus. Uh, he can plug in his laptop right there and uh, keep it close to the snacks in the refrigerator. Here in the formal dining room, we do have chair rail. Once again, those beautiful wood floors do continue throughout this room and you would need to bring in your own light fixture. We're gonna go out back and look at the nice double, uh, excuse me, the nice deck in the backyard through those double doors uh, here momentarily. We do have a pantry there for additional storage as well. We're going to transition now into our utility room and garage area. We've got space here for your washing machine dryer, a little additional storage space over top there, and our powder room, our green powder room. We have granite on the vanity top, and if you've watched any of my 300 plus videos, you know that typically the mirror over the vanity is missing, and this home does not disappoint in that regard. Here in our rear entry garage, we do have a pedestrian door that leads to the side. We have a garage opener. And our gas furnace has central air. This furnace actually does not look very old, so it should have good life left on it. And we heat water with natural gas as well. Okay, we're gonna take a look at one of my favorite spaces in this home, and that is this sunroom. We've got plenty of light that flows in here to this sunroom on the back. This rod here that you see in the corner is used to open and close the shades on those skylights. So that's a really neat feature. Of course, on a nice winter night, you can put some logs in that wood burning fireplace. We're going to pop out here on the deck, let you take a look at this backyard. Very good sized deck. It does need a coat of paint to help preserve its life. Plenty of space back here for entertaining. Uh, the backyard is just a really a park-like setting. Um, we've got some trees, uh, but it's not overwhelming. I notice it's wide open. I don't see any fencing. And uh, another reason that you should buy this home is, you see that truck right ahead there? Uh, that's a Ford Ranger. If you buy this home, I might be able to purchase a high-priced import sedan like my counterparts in the business. 
All right, we're gonna go upstairs and take a look, see what we have on our second level. I like to come to these homes, give you an idea of exactly what's available in the marketplace. If you or anyone you know is looking for a home, even if it's not in this price range or this area, please give me a call. It'd be an honor for me to help. Help save you a bunch of money on your next purchase. We're gonna start here at the end of the home. This is over the garage, and this space can be used a number of different ways. Nice, wide open area. We've got laminate on the floor. We've got a nice high knee wall in here. This is a great second floor den, or it could be a home office, a home office if someone needs a lot of space. We've got a closet here, so it does qualify as a fifth bedroom. Plenty of space here. It's also a great place if you need to isolate an in-law. Here to the left, we have bedroom number two. Pretty straightforward. This is our access to the attic. And no, we're not going up there, but there is plenty of storage up there for you. Bedroom number three. This is a little conservative. On the back side of the house, not quite as bright. But we've got the nautical theme. Bedroom number four. This also is a conservative bedroom. Would make a great home office with a view off to the front of the home. We've got a linen closet here in the closet next to our Hall bath. Uh, this bath does have a, a granite top and we've got two mirrors that are missing here. We're going to take a look here at this tub. This is also a solid surface tub. Pretty unusual. We don't typically don't see that type of material on a tub, but we also are missing a shower head and um, I always provide shower heads for my clients. So you would not have to worry about that. Now we are into the master bedroom. And if the alarm clock doesn't wake you up, this bright green just might do the trick. Uh, fortunately, paint is cheap and an easy, easy way to transform this bedroom. We've got a nice walk-in closet, good storage space, and our master bathroom. We've got ceramic tile on the floor. Once again, we've got the solid surface for the vanity top where your mirrors would go. Nice vaulted ceiling. We've got that skylight. We've got a modern stand-up shower. Once again, with that same solid surface material, good looking shower and a jetted tub with a window overlooking the backyard. You could set up some candles there uh, a couple flower arrangements and make it a nice good looking feminine tub area because of course men don't use tubs okay that's going to do it for this home if you have any questions about this or any other home on the market max williams i can reach at 402-7788 please take a look and like my facebook page it is richmond area foreclosures my website is richmond houseinfo.com. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.